When we're asked which expression is a trinomial, we're given a bunch of expressions in a row, not equations, there's no equal sign. And we want to identify which of them has three terms, because a trinomial, again the prefix in this is tri, which means three, so which of these has three terms in it? So first they give us 4x to the third power. And you might see this exponent of 3 and think that means trinomial, but this refers to something else. It refers to the exponent or the power, uh, and we could count that and look at that, but we're not going to look at it in this case. It's just the exponent. It does not determine what kind of polynomial we have here. It just tells us the power or the degree of the term. So we could refer to this as the third degree, but not the third type of polynomial, or three polynomial, or three terms. So a is out. And then we have 7x plus 12. That's our next choice. 7x plus 12 is a binomial because we have one term connected by multiplication, 7 times x, separated by addition to our second term. So this is two terms, and that's a binomial. So b is out. Now choice C is 3x to the third power plus 3x to the second power. We have lots of 3's in this equation. 3 and 3 and 3 and, and it seems almost like it's a, a trinomial. But again, this is also a binomial. We have our first term right here. It's a coefficient of 3 times x cubed. Terms are numbers and variables connected by multiplication we're adding to our second term, 3 times x squared. So that's still just a binomial, two terms. So C is out. So D needs to be the answer, but let's look at that for a second. It's 5x to the third power plus 3x squared minus 11. So in this case, we have our three terms. First, we have 5x to the third power plus, separates to our next term, 3x minus 3x squared, excuse me, minus 11. So it has three terms. It's a trinomial. And the answer in this question has to be D. 5x to the third power, first term, plus 3x squared, second term, minus 11, our third term.